Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the updates that are made, have been made to the 2019 uh, version of the calculator. And I'm going to do a live stream on this. So I'm going to put up on the YouTube channel that we're going to have a live stream, but I'm going to go in. I need to get this out to some few people so that they can get their businesses going. So I'm just going to go in and show you uh, real quick. When you get the new application, you'll unzip it. Uh, when you unzip it, you'll have a folder that says application files. Uh, you will you won't have this folder. I, I created this folder, but you'll have the install instructions, invoices, job uh, job proofs, quotes, and then you'll have a folder here that a file here that says exe. I ended up moving uh, my exe fold, file into a, another folder, so you you will have this little exe and again you know that when you receive your r registration key you're just going to take your key from there and kind of put it over into the software which is what i did to activate it um, and i'll go through all of that when i do the live stream but i'm going to go ahead open it up once you open it up you're going to get this splash and then the software will go ahead and open up for you it's going to take a minute uh, on first run and because I am on the recorder, so I'm using up a lot of my computer's energy. So here we go. It pops open. Once it pops open, you still have all of this stuff here is the same. Uh, let me just kind of open this up here. So what we have here, we have the invoice sheet. You've got your create a job proof sheet, your sheet to view your job orders, add your customers. All of this stuff is activated. Um, this is your search orders, uh, your sales report history. If you want to add in a new product, you can add it here. You can also take out products. I'm going to show you guys in my video on how to, pre to use this to be able to find quick items that you need. So I'm going to show you guys how to filter through these lists and add favorites. Um, and then you've got your expense form and year-to-date expenses. Okay. You've also got a pop-up here. This will take you to your approvals. But when you click on this on the first run, you're going to have to go back in, click on your application files, and click on job proof. That should activate it to where next time you open that, hopefully that open no it doesn't so you're just going to have to go back y'all are going to have to bear with me on some of this stuff go in and open the approvals that way um you got invoices there's just been a hard time with come on and open up okay then want to open up there so let's see which one i've got too many different things open down there at one time when you click on quote so all of this looks like it's good oh it's actually set to go to the c drive so that's the problem it's got an extra file off in there um but anyways that shouldn't be a big problem for you to just go back and do this when you want to when you want to go in and view because you're just going in and viewing stuff um got your sales data for your custom i'm sorry customer data that's taken care of over here you look up your products your apparel discount items all of this stuff here screen printing shop overhead heat transfer stuff so basically all of that stuff is set i'm going to go back to the job page and i'm going to show you how you're going to save a form uh now so let's go in let's add a customer real quick and let's just say t-shirt shop Dallas and the contact is me Latana phone number I'm not going to put in an address I'm just going to put this as a retail customer and say she's 
cute, okay? Which you wouldn't say that on an invoice, but uh, let's go in, let's add the customer, and then let's click closed. Once we click close, that information is there. Now, if that customer comes back in the future, you can just type in the name of the company here, okay? So you can type in the name of the company here. You never want to type in these boxes here. And I do believe that I that I fixed this to where you can't go in and type in there anymore. But you only want to type in certain areas. So you would type here if, like I said, you have a drop down list where you can go in and you can change that and go to the different customers for future reference. Now you also have a smart search box for to search for products. I'm not going to use that because I am recording on the video and it'll uh, make my computer run really slow. So when you're looking for a product, you're going to type in the name of the product. In this case, we're going to use the Gildan 500. We've got a shirt color and we're going to print on black shirts. Okay. So I'm just doing a dummy invoice. Once you do that, you're going to just scroll down. And if you want to close all of these other um, orders, you can. That should be product five. Let's see what's going on here. I can't see a thing. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to close all of this up. Okay. Now we got... Okay. So now I've only got one product up there. Let me close this down because I don't really need it. And kind of make this a little bit larger on the screen for you guys. Okay. So now we've got our product and let's just add in some quantity real quick. Okay, so now we've got our cost per item and all of that. If we had did over 100 pieces and we set up our discount rate, I'm not going to do all of that in this. But you've got your product and let's say we're just going to do a one color screen print. Now, screen fees are showing here. Some people want to charge screen fees and some don't. If you don't charge screen fees, you can set that up in your in the back end. And you can also just always take that and just change it. And once you have that set to zero, you can always go over here and change your background. I'm sorry, not change your background, but we'll go back to there and change that background. You can go here and you can change that to where you won't even see anything about a screen. Okay, so you've got other options here. I'm not going to go over all of that. Anyways, I'm just going to go here and we're going to create an order. When you click on the create an order form, you're now going to get a pop up, which is going to ask you for a file path for you to put your information. Um, so we're going to put this in the invoice folder. And once we do this one time, it should go ahead and start opening up uh, the next time that you need to do an invoice to the folder that you want it to open to. So we're here. We're going to do this and your invoice is going to be saved under the company's name. It's going to start with INV. Quotes are going to start with quote, but it's going to start with INV T-Shirt Shop Dallas, which is the name of the company or your person and the invoice number. OK, so you're going to do that and it's going to create a PDF. You're going to hit save. Once you hit save, it's going to publish it. That folder, that file is now over in your um, invoice folder. Same thing here. Now let's go back in again and let's create PDF. Now you see that time it opened up into the invoice folder. So the first time that you run it, you're going to have to figure out wherever you want to send it. That's the only way that I can get this done uh, is to let you allow, allow you to choose where you want to send the folder to. So once you've done that and you've created um, the invoice, I actually created another invoice. I wasn't trying to. We can go back into the T-Zone panel. We can go over here to view the job orders. And there are the orders there. That one is the second one that I did that I wasn't trying to do. 
Um, so we got the order here and then you've got, uh, if you want to go in and you want to create a job proof, same thing with the job proof. Once you go in and you can, um, the job proof you've got, let me just go out of here. You've got a drop down with the customer. So I'm the customer that we already did, um, that invoice for and I did not change this there's not a drop down to this to link to the other page just because you may not always do a order and a job approval at the same time so this stuff here you're going to manually do if you need to edit the settings here you can so you've got drop downs here for the t-shirt colors that you have in to make all of that stuff match and whatever style or brand uh, t-shirt that you're using and you're going to click this button save the job proof you're going to do the same thing that you did before put that over there and that's going to save the job proof under JP so now the next time that you go in and you click it it should open up to job proofs so those are the updates another thing that we have done that I hope you guys can see is I went ahead and I have um, your tabs here at the bottom open because sometimes you may want to just go in. Oh, that was still running. You may want to just go in and navigate through the tabs instead of opening up the T zone. So if you want to navigate through the tabs, that's great. Um, you can hit. Through the tabs you can get to most of the sheets you can't get to the lookups here and uh, you can but you can get to most of the settings and all of that stuff so that's a good way to use it also and if you did not want to see the tabs or anything like that you can always go up here to into file go to options and under advanced you're going to look for an area that says show tabs and you will unclick it um, show formula bar so you've got different things here that you can show or not show um, whether you okay right here where it says show sheet tabs if you unclick this box that will remove the tabs at the bottom in your in your uh, employees can only use that one area it's pretty much up to you the most but I do have the most important tabs highlighted here um, if for any reason that you open up your your calculator and you're having a problem with the zeros not showing in empty columns or you don't want the zeros to show in empty columns you can uncheck this and that will solve that problem don't really go into you don't want to do too much over in this area uh, without watching the video tutorials or listening in on the live that I'm gonna do one thing that you want to do is you want to go in here into Excel and where is on the formulas da, da, da. you want Excel to data to update and I'm trying to find it. I can't find it right now, but I'll find it uh, when I do the um, the full video over this. But I'm going to just get this up so that you guys can have it and so that you guys can get going. Alrighty, and uh, let's click here. And thanks for watching.